Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. My name is Devin Ray Hillary, and I have autism. I am born and raised in the Bronx, New York, and I am of a Jamaican Caribbean descendant. I got diagnosed with autism at the age of two and a half. One amazing discovery that I made is that Clonakilty in County Cork, Ireland, Europe, and Austin, Minnesota, here in the United States, are two communities that have chosen to embrace foes with autism. Sec April 2nd, Autism Awareness Day, and all of April is known as Autism Awareness Month. International Autism Acceptance is a month-long observance focused on supporting people with autism spectrum disorders. Observance of the month often involves educational events centered on learning what it means to be autistic and about the difficulties and discrimination that autistic people face, especially me. Additionally, it focuses on sharing stories and presentations, celebrating events, providing opportunities, and all other things to increase understanding, awareness, and acceptance of people with autism, fostering worldwide support. Autism is defined as a developmental disorder of a variable severity that is characterized by difficulty in social and interaction and communication and by restricted or repetitive patterns of thought and behavior. Therefore, people with autism go through social communication challenges and difficulties, being either verbal or nonverbal. Additionally, autism deals with social and communication challenges, which can cause difficulties. Children and adults with autism have difficulty with verbal and nonverbal communication. For example, they may not understand or appropriately use spoken language around a third of people with autism or nonverbal, gestures, eye contact, facial expressions, tone of voice, and expressions are not meant to be taken literally. Other social challenges can include difficulty with recognizing emotions and intentions in others, recognizing one's own emotions, expressing emotions, seeking emotional comfort from others, Feeling, over, feeling overwhelmed in social situations, taking turns in conversation, engaging personal space, meaning distance between people. Furthermore, people with autism have restricted and repetitive behaviors which vary across the autism spectrum. Some examples of repetitive body movements such as rocking, flapping means flapping with the hands, spinning and running back and forth, repetitive motions with objects such as spinning wheels, shaking sticks and flipping levers, staring at lights or spinning objects, ritualistic behaviors, light means lining up objects repeatedly touching objects in a set order, narrow or extreme interest in specific topics and need for unfairing routine resistance to change, such as same daily schedule, meal menus, clothes, and route to school. Autism has other symptoms such as hyperactivity, meaning highly active, impulsivity, meaning acting without thinking, short attention span, aggression, cause self-injury, temper tantrums, unusual eating and sleeping habits, unusual mood or emotional reactions, lack of fear or more fear than expected, and unusual reactions to, the, 
to the way things sound, smell, taste, look, or feel. Autism is also linked with high rates of certain physical and mental health conditions. Therefore, autism has examples of repetitive restricted behavior, which the Repetitive Behavior Scale Revised, or RBSR, characterize the six following behaviors, stereotype, compulsive behavior, sameness, ritualistic behavior, restricted behavior, and self-injury. Ordinarily, no single repetitive or self-interest behavior seems to be specific to autism. Nevertheless, only autism to have an elevated pattern of occurrence and severity of these behaviors. According from Raising Children in Australia, one of the most common problems with autism is anxiety. Anxiety is common in autistic children with 40 to 60% of autistic children, autistic children having it. Social anxiety is one of the most common anxiety disorders. Social anxiety probably happens because autistic people often have a style of interacting that can make socializing difficult for them. People with autism also would tend to talk to themselves. Autism Speak says that people affected by autism like to review conversations to themselves. This can include repeating lines from their favorite movies, TV shows, or YouTube channels. We call this scripting. It is a common repetitive behavior that can be a source of comfort when the person is anxious or excited. From Autism Speak, they said about the autism diagnosis, diagnosis rates. In the United States, one in 36 children have been diagnosed with ASD. Ratio of male to female statistics said, in the United States, for every four boys that are diagnosed, one girl has been diagnosed with ASD. Intelligent quotient, 44% of children with ASD have an average to above average intelligent quotient or IQ for short. External challenges. Almost two thirds of children with ASD between the ages of six and 15 suffer bullying and self-injury. About 28% of children with ASD have self-injurious behaviors. According to the Mill Creek Behavioral Health Company, the negatives of children and teens having autism are social isolation, familiar discord, difficulty forming and supporting friendships, difficulties relating and empathizing with other people, may have trouble living independently while others can live and work on their own, and sleep problems. Having autism has been making me have challenges communicating with people, making new acquaintances and friends and social connections and being misunderstood, underestimated and receiving negative assumptions. Additionally, having autism has made my life so tough and stressful. It is no myth at all but has all been genuine and serious in reality. My life has been extremely abnormal and unordinary to other people. People who don't have autism may have little interest or even care for me in their own lives. Luckily, my family has supported me to 
help me deal with my developmentally disabled life. There are six things people with autism, everybody should know. One, we are not threats. The way we communicate or act is not meant to intimidate or discomfort other people around us. We are just trying to show interest, friendliness, excitement, and positivity. You should get to know us before calling the police on us for things you may not understand that we do. It would make matters worse. Two, we are not punchlines. We are not targets to be bullied or abused in any way. The abuse I mentioned could be physical, verbal, mental, emotional, or even social. We should also not be treated with hatred or as a joke by anyone. Having autism is not a weakness. Instead, people should try to talk to me and other autistic people to get to know us better. You will not know what kind of heart I have or how positive I am without having a conversation with me. My intention is always to be positive, but it's not always understood. I should be treated as a human being. Three, we are not all geniuses. We are not all smart in one specific area. We know what we have been taught and we don't know everything. We sh have trouble memorizing and remembering things. I personally have trouble making friends with others and getting a job as an instrumental musician or in a non-retail job position. Four, not all of us are lost causes. We can do things that everyone else can do. We just may have unusual ways to do them. Also, people with autism can be stressful when given the chance to do things our way. Five, we are not all the same. If you have met one person with autism, then you have met one person with autism. Just because two of us have autism doesn't mean we are going to act or do things the same. We are all unique and different in our own ways. Six, we are not doing as well as we appear. We may appear to have easy times being social. However, personally for me, it is difficult to interact and have conversations, especially with those of the opposite sex. With all that explained, I am not lecturing you, but I just want to raise awareness and understanding about me and other people with autism. Lastly, there are signs people with autism may display. Here are some examples. One, you can't tell what others are feeling emotionally. We have a challenging time understanding other emotions. We cannot tell how another person is feeling unless they tell us and ask how we are feeling. Two, it is difficult to function in a group. It is difficult to fit into a group depending on what topic or subject things are being discussed. I have a tough time keeping up with multiple conversations that may happen in group settings. It is hard for me to stay on the same topic or subject. Four, we have no genuine friends. 
I know people who talk to me, but they are not real friends. More like acquaintances. I hardly ever speak to someone on the phone through social media as a loyal friend would. Four, we have our own unique ways of speaking. I may say things that others may not understand, but it is how I show enjoyment, excitement, and interest. It is my sincerity that makes me say things the way I do. Five, we don't know when it is our turn to speak. During a conversation, I don't know when I will be given the chance to say what I want or need to say. I have learned that when a person is talking, their voice will lower as they are about to finish speaking. When they stop, I wait a couple of seconds to make sure they are done and then I will say what I need or want to say. Six, we don't know what to talk about in any conversations. It is difficult for me to stay in the same topic I may not even know how to begin a conversation depending on the subject or topic. I'm comfortable talking about my favorite things, but I may struggle when talking about things that I don't know about. Seven, certain noises bother me. Some sounds bother me that others may not even hear. For example, on most TV game shows, most game buzzers irritate me hmm. when a wrong answer is given and other people may not even hear the buzzer. Eight, good at noticing and understanding details. I memorize things I see, read and hear that interest me. Something that I find interesting is music, fitness, cooking, and science. Nine, I understand languages literally. I do not understand sarcasm. What you say to me is exactly how I am going to understand it. It makes me feel as if I am nobody when I'm talking to someone and they do not give me direct answers. Finally, 10. I sometimes hate changes to my routine. Even though change can be good and positive, I have a set way that I like things to go and struggle when things go the wrong way. This could be slight changes to my daily routine. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I appreciate each of you listening to this brief discussion about autism. Most of this experience and beliefs from my life as a personal, excuse me, as a person with autism. My hope is that everyone has a better understanding of me and what autism is all about. I would also like to dedicate this speech to those in jobs and volunteer positions working with people who have autism. Thank you.